What is up guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. The thumbnail and title are 100% correct on this one. I impulse bought a C5 Corvette without even looking at it in person. I did see some photos of course. And I'm gonna to get to the story one second, but first I do wanna do a quick walk around of the car and uh, look at this thing. All right guys, here she is. It is a 1999 C5 Corvette, six speed manual, 5.7 liter LS1 engine. I, I'll be completely honest with you, I have no clue what the trim model is. If it, I don't know if it's a base model. I know it's not a Z06 because I assume a Z06 would have like Z06 badges everywhere. I will be completely honest with you guys. I know nothing about Corvettes and that's gonna be in the story here in a second. But on the camera, the car does look kind of orange, but the actual color from GM is torch red and honestly the car is in impeccable condition impeccable shape this thing I bought this because of the fact that this is so clean this is the cleanest 20 plus year old car that I was able to find when I was looking in my car search currently has 56,000 original miles I am now the fourth owner but the previous three owners have all been over the age of 50. This car is completely stock, nothing done to it whatsoever, except for these are after, I don't know if they're aftermarket wheels, they have uh, Corvette logos in the center of them, but like he also gave me the stock wheels that came on the car, which look exactly like these wheels. They're just not chrome. They're like, just like a standard alloy. This one, these wheels are of course chrome, but once again, I know nothing about the car really. It looks good, it's clean low miles, good tires, like it's a clean car. Everything is OEM, my camera will focus, there you go. It's all OEM, leather, the bolster still looks good. I mean, it's it's freaking clean, man. Everything works the way it's supposed to work, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, kinda, kinda happened out of nowhere. Kinda definitely happened out of nowhere now. I never told you guys this, but I have been on a car search lately. I've just had that itch to get some kind of American muscle car. And honestly, for the past three months, I've been looking at Mustangs, which is why I said I have no clue anything about the Corvette because I wasn't even looking at Corvettes. So how this happened was I, my TDI, I love my TDI. That thing is sick, zero things wrong with it, but I'm like, kind of bored with driving my TDI every day. So I did sell the TDI and I wanted to get into something else. Now I wanted to get into a Mustang and I literally dedicated like two months of my life looking at these cars. The issue is I never sat in one of those cars. So I finally found one that I was like 100% going to buy, had the plate with me, had my checkbook with me. I was going to buy this car. And well, turns out six foot seven dudes do not fit in Mustangs very well, at least the generation I was looking for. Now, I do have a specific budget. I wanna say under $20,000 for this car build, if you will. And honestly, I was looking at the SN95 Mustang, the late 90s, early 2000s Mustangs, and I found a really clean 2000, and I tried to sit in the car, and I could not even close the driver's side door. It was so close and so tight. The head couldn't fit nothing. I couldn't fit in that car at all. So the next generation up, ironically, the dealership I was looking at had a 2008 and I tried to sit in one of those went much better so I, I was so bummed at that point because I spent all this time looking at Mustangs find out I can't fit into them I have a lot of people that message me saying I would fit into like the new Mustangs but the problem is I don't want a new Mustang and I probably could afford a new Mustang if I wanted to but I didn't want to I wanted to keep this car under 20 grand so I gave up. I gave up real quick. So then from there, I started looking at, honestly, Camaros, like late 90s Camaros, fourth gen Camaros, the F body Camaros and Trans Ams, if you will. Once again, because I don't want to buy a brand new Camaro. I know I had a friend who had like a 94 Camaro years ago and I used to drive it and I knew it was tight but I could drive it. So I started looking at Camaros pretty hard, man. And I almost went to go get one in Wisconsin. Perfect price, it was good. It, it had some mods done to it. It was cammed, it, it sounded good, it looked good. I was about to plan a trip to drive out to Wisconsin. And then all of a sudden, this car came up. 
this car came up. So ironically, not to get too sentimental here, my boss found out I was looking for a car, the guy I work for every single day, and he said, hey, by the way, my dad has a C5 Corvette if you're interested. And I was like, sure give me the specs uh, so the car wasn't for sale at all later on that night he called he says hey got the specs from my dad it's not like he didn't plan on selling this car but these are the specs 99 this 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 car never seen rain all this fun stuff and i was like okay do you have some like photos of this car or anything like that that'd be awesome next day i got sent some photos of the car talked to my boss's dad about the car and i was like Okay, got the pricing of it, a little more than I wanted to spend originally, a little bit more than what I was gonna spend on a Mustang, if you will, and I, uh, I went home making dinner and I'm like, you know what? I'm getting this car. Cleanest car you could find, honest to God, for the price. Because all the commit, like Mustangs, I could find good, like nice Mustangs at like 10 grand, 10, 12,000 bucks. Any Camaro that I could find, even modded out, probably beat to hell. Uh, all the Camaras and stuff that I was finding were the same price that I bought this Corvette for. And after thinking about everything, after listening to the story, after looking at the photos, I knew that this was gonna be the cleanest base car to start a car build, if you will. And so I just said, yeah, I'll buy it. You guys don't know, I'm in the trailer business, so uh, my boss was actually bringing an enclosed car hauler out to my location. And uh, so he loaded his dad's car up in it that night, drove it out to my location, and here she is. I honestly probably got less than like 30 miles on the car, drove it home from work that day. We just did some holiday festivities, Thanksgiving and whatnot, and here I am right now. So I don't have a whole lot of seat time in this car. I'll be honest, I do fit pretty well in it for what it is. I fit a lot better than you think I will and I do need to get myself a GoPro so I could put it on a dash because the camera that I use to film all these videos is huge and it doesn't fit in a dashboard and it doesn't fit literally anywhere so I got to get a GoPro I'll mount it somewhere you can see how well a six foot seven giant fits in a super small car because that's the big questions I'm getting right now is how the hell do you fit in the Corvette and honestly I fit pretty damn well so all in all I honestly am super happy with my purchase i the night that i went to bed after i told him hey i'll take it i i was almost like a thinking myself a little bit but then after receiving the car after literally driving the car like this thing is clean man I'm, it could definitely use like a good buff job but the paint's in good shape e leather everything's in good shape on this car got two sets of wheels either way i don't really want either set of wheels i'll probably sell them but i think this is going to be a really fun car for me for the channel uh, honestly if it doesn't do well on the channel it's going to be you know fun for you know me and my personal life so i already have a couple things ordered for the car i already have a tint appointment so we'll get it tinted i'm going to try to drive it as much as i can until the weather here in Pennsylvania gets too bad to drive it. I'm not going to drive this thing in the snow and salt, of course, but I will drive it right now while we get some 50 degree days. So I do have some plans. I want to do the car. Like I said, I'm not super overly familiar with Corvettes, but it's definitely too quiet stock. So I'm definitely thinking like at least like headers, cam, exhaust. We're going to tint it. We're going to get different wheels. I do want to, I've already been looking at different taillights, headlights, all that fun stuff. I've been looking at stuff for this car. I don't know. I'm pretty excited for this thing. I hope some of you guys are too. Like I said, I hope this brings some more guys to the channel. I hope this does not shy my Cummins guys away because the Cummins is still not going anywhere. Like this car will probably be put away for the next couple months here in the next couple weeks. But I am going to do some stuff to this car while I have it out and while the weather is still nice enough. So uh, this is just something I've always wanted to do. I've never had a sports car, if you will. I've had single cab trucks, crew cab trucks. I've had gas trucks. I've had small two wheel drive trucks. I had diesel trucks. I've had uh, all kind of daily cars. Like I've had my Volkswagen, I've had Sonics. I've had a bunch of Buicks. Like I've had motorcycles, dirt bikes. I've had all the fun stuff. I, oh yeah, I had Jeeps. Like we used to do Jeep stuff all the time. I've never had like a sports car. So this is the time to do it. I guess so like the video subscribe join the family join the Cummins and now Corvette gang and uh, I'll see y'all guys next video peace